Hey guys, what's up? This is Nayan here from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Linux tutorial we will learn how we can make a bootable SD card or a bootable USB. So first connect your USB or your SD card to your Linux machine. Once you connect it, it will be detected on your desktop and just right click on it and just format it. And make sure you select FAT which can be either FAT32 or something of that sort or even XFAT and then just click on format once the device is formatted just go to your applications and open terminal once terminal opens up Type in sudo space fdisk dash l. This will list down all the devices that are connected to our Linux machine. And since we are typing in sudo, it will ask you for your machine password. So just type in your password. Once you type in your password, you will get all the devices that are connected to your Linux machine and as you can see my device is the second one and not the first one my device is slash dev slash sdb which is 3965 MB in size once you locate your device just type in u mount space the device name so in our case it is going to be backslash dev slash sdb just type that and your device will get unmounted now comes the main step that is writing the files so just make sure that your image file is on your desktop in my case it is the raspbian.img file it can be something else like .iso or something of another format but make sure it is an image file and it is on your desktop type in sudo space dd space bs equals to 1 capital M space if equals to just type in the tilde sign backslash and type in desktop again a slash and then type in the image file name copy the image file name completely and paste it in here and then give a space type in of equals to the device name so it's going to be dev slash sdb and make sure you type in the device name properly because it can cause severe problems if you do not type the device name properly and then click on enter now once the files have been written on your USB or SD card you'll get some confirmation like this that this much amount of data has been copied at in this much amount of time and at this particular rate so this proof I have got and this basically means that my USB or SD card has become bootable. So that's it with this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.